My name is Laura and I work as the pastoral assistant here at All Saints in Hove. Before that, I was working for many years as an actor. So I was working in theatre and television all over the world. When I was in my teenage years, I myself struggled with post-traumatic stress disorder. Quite a big trauma happened and it sort of snowballed into what you would call a breakdown. After a lot of hard work, I came out the other side and I remember sitting on my bed, praying to God and saying, do something with this pain, something good. I asked for his help and I had an idea to begin a mental health campaign called Hashtag It Affects Me. I asked people all around the world to take a selfie with a post-it note on their head that simply said, Hashtag It Affects Me to show the universality of mental illness. It went viral. 3.5 million people around the world took It Affects Me selfies and conversations were starting all over the world. It was amazing. It was then through that that I first felt God working through me. Something shifted in me and since that shift, I have begun exploring ministry and I'm in the discernment process for vocation to ordination and that's why I am here. I remember going to church when I was feeling better and the reading was Paul's second epistle to the Corinthians. Whenever I am weak, I am strong. That stays with me all the time because it's in our vulnerability that we can help others. That's how I've seen my whole journey with this. It feels like a complete journey from death into life because there were times when it was really hard to think about a tomorrow and now all I can think about is a tomorrow and what that can do for other people's tomorrows. I was in London, I'd had a really tough day with my OCD and I was crying on the tube and this woman, she handed me a note and she got off and that note said, you are so special and loved by many. It was the most incredible thing to feel that love from a stranger. You could see Jesus' face in that love, in that gift from her. Christianity doesn't mean you have to have everything sewn up. It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. We are all broken and it's through God's love that we can heal. If we can be figures on earth to show that love to others, then that's our call, unconditional love. Whenever you see someone struggling. God wants us to be fully ourselves, whether that's sexuality, troubles with gender, mental health issues. You know, that's the whole point about bringing things into the light because it's in the dark and in the secrets where toxicity happens, that's where pain happens. I think joy is being open to God's call in your life, whether it's a kind word to a stranger, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, it's being open and listening to God in ways that you can hear. I remember working in a shop, a woman came up to me and she just said, are you a Christian? And I said, yes. And she went, I can tell. And then I just opened up to her and I said, actually I'm sort of discerning ministry. And she just looked at me and she went, good. And then she hugged me and she started crying. And then she smiled and then she left. I just was floored and I just said, okay, God, I hear you. We need to find our voices when we talk about our faith, but it's the same about our mental health. Talking about them strengthens both of them. So being honest about your mental health and honest about your faith, well, it brings it into the light and it makes it something that's normal to talk about, something that's healing to talk about and then hearing the conversations that that then starts and you know they then say oh well I struggle with this or my son struggles with that and and then using our faith as a tool to walk alongside each other in the journey of that struggles because not all struggles can be resolved it's not necessarily about catharsis it's about having someone with you in the pain and that's what Jesus did for us.